$27 billion, one data center, two gigawatts of computing power. Meta just made a move that signals something massive is happening behind the scenes in AI. And what I'm about to show you reveals the hidden war being fought right now for AI dominance. Today, we're diving into a deal that most people completely missed, but it tells us everything about where AI is actually headed. This isn't just about Meta building another data center. This is about a fundamental shift in how the biggest AI race in human history is being financed, built, and won. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's what just happened. Meta partnered with Blue Owl Capital in the largest private capital AI infrastructure deal ever recorded. Blue Owl is putting up $7 billion in cash. Meta is getting $3 billion back immediately while keeping 20% ownership. And together they're building Hyperion, a facility in Louisiana that will deliver over two gigawatts of computing power. To put that in perspective, that's enough energy to power a small city. And it's all dedicated to training the next generation of AI models, the ones that will make today's chat GPT look primitive. But here's what's really wild. This is just the beginning. The tech giants aren't just building data centers. They're engaged in an infrastructure arms race that dwarfs anything we've seen before. This year alone, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, and others are projected to spend $400 billion on AI infrastructure. Let me say that again, $400 billion in one year. OpenAI just secured deals worth over $1 trillion, yes, trillion with a T, to lock down 26 gigawatts of compute power. That's enough energy to power 20 million United States homes. Think about what this means. The companies building AI aren't just competing on algorithms anymore. They're competing on who can secure the most energy, the most computing power, and the most physical infrastructure. The bottleneck isn't ideas, it's watts and square footage. But here's where it gets interesting. Notice what Meta did here. They didn't just build this themselves. They brought in private capital, took a minority stake, and got $3 billion cash back immediately. According to Forrester analyst Alvin Guyen, this is strategic brilliance. Meta is de-risking. They're avoiding massive debt for assets that could potentially lose value if, and this is the key phrase, the AI hype cycle cools down. Even Meta, one of the biggest believers in AI, is hedging their bets. They want the infrastructure, but they don't want to be holding the bag if the economics shift. This tells us something crucial. Even the insiders aren't 100% certain how this plays out. But they know one thing for sure, you can't compete in AI without the infrastructure. So they're building it anyway. Now here's where things get complicated. While Meta is signing solar deals for 1.3 gigawatts of clean energy through NG in Texas, which sounds great, they're simultaneously building a $10 billion data center in Louisiana that will be powered by three natural gas plants producing 2,262 megawatts. That's nearly 10% of energy's current energy capacity across four states, all from fossil fuels. So when Meta says they're matching 100% of their electricity use with renewable energy, what they really mean is they're buying renewable credits while also building massive gas-powered infrastructure. The math doesn't quite add up, does it? Here's what this all reveals. The AI infrastructure race is happening so fast that companies are doing whatever it takes to get power online quickly. Clean energy when possible, fossil fuels when necessary. The constraint isn't money, it's speed and availability. Meta's CFO Susan Lee called this financing a bold step forward. 
but not because of the technology, because of the model. They figured out how to get private capital to fund the most expensive infrastructure build out in tech history while reducing their own risk. Think about what happens next. If Meta can raise $27 billion from private capital for one project, every other tech giant will follow this playbook. We're about to see hundreds of billions in private capital flow into AI infrastructure. The Hyperion facility is expected to create 500 jobs and will be operational within years. But that's just one project. Multiply this across dozens of facilities being planned right now by Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and others. We're not just building data centers, we're rewiring the global energy grid to support AI. And most people have no idea it's happening. There's a concept I talk about often. When you understand what's happening in the spirit, or in this case, what's happening behind closed doors in corporate boardrooms. You can see the future before it manifests in reality. Right now, the future is being built in places like Richland Parish, Louisiana, and Stonewall County, Texas. The AI you'll be using in 2027 is being powered by infrastructure deals signed today. The companies that secure the most compute power today will have the most capable AI tomorrow. This isn't speculation. This is just cause and effect playing out on a massive scale. Here's what concerns me. We're building infrastructure for AI systems that don't fully exist yet based on projected capabilities we can only estimate. Meta is spending billions betting that the AI models of 2027 to 2028 will require this much computing power. What if they're wrong? What if we hit a ceiling in AI capabilities? Then you have billions in stranded assets. But what if they're right or worse? What if they're underestimating? What if the compute requirements for AGI or ASI are even higher than these projections? Then the companies that didn't build fast enough will be locked out of the most important technology race in human history. That's the gamble. And every major tech company is going all in. So what does this mean for you? If you're building a business, investing, or trying to understand where the world is headed, pay attention to infrastructure. The future belongs to whoever controls the compute. This isn't just about AI chatbots. This is about who will have the power, literally and figuratively, to shape the next decade of technology. The infrastructure being built today determines the AI available tomorrow. And the AI available tomorrow determines who wins and who loses in every industry from healthcare to finance to education. The game is already being played. The question is, are you watching? I'd love for you to subscribe so we can keep tracking these moves together. Drop a comment and let me know. Do you think Meta's $27 billion bet will pay off? Or are we building infrastructure for a future that might never arrive? See you in the next one. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.